Welcome to County Office, your ultimate guide to local government services and public records. Let's get started. How is a Supreme Court justice impeached? The process of impeaching a Supreme Court justice is rooted in the U.S. Constitution, which grants the House of Representatives the sole power to initiate impeachment proceedings and the Senate the sole power to try all impeachments. Initiation of Impeachment the impeachment process begins in the House of Representatives, where a legislator must introduce articles of impeachment. These articles outline the specific charges against the justice, such as treason, bribery, or other high crimes and misdemeanors. House vote. For the impeachment to proceed, the House must approve the articles of impeachment by a simple majority vote. This vote determines whether the case will be sent to the Senate for a trial. Senate trial. Once the House approves the Articles of Impeachment, the case is transferred to the Senate, which sits as a High Court of Impeachment. In the case of a Supreme Court Justice, the Chief Justice of the United States typically presides over the trial. A committee of representatives known as managers acts as prosecutors before the Senate. Evidence and Witnesses During the Senate trial, evidence is presented and witnesses are heard. The Senate considers all the information provided to make a decision on whether to convict or acquit the impeached justice. Conviction and removal. To convict a Supreme Court justice, a two-thirds majority vote of the Senate is required. If convicted, the justice is removed from office. In some cases, the Senate may also disqualify the justice from holding future public offices. Historical precedent. Historically, only one Supreme Court Justice, Samuel Chase, has been impeached by the House, but he was acquitted by the Senate in 1805. This sets a precedent that while impeachment is possible, it is a rare and serious action. Ethical Standards The impeachment process for Supreme Court Justices is also tied to the maintenance of judicial integrity and ethical standards. Justices are expected to behave in a manner consistent with the standard of good behavior as outlined in the Constitution. To learn more, check out these links, which you can click in the description below. And feel free to comment your questions. We're here to help. Thanks for tuning in to our video. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment below. See you in the next video.